Mustard Knuckle. Hello everybody, Mustard Knuckle back again, 3 Minute Clinic, doing the IS-3, how to kill an IS-3 in less than 3 minutes, or about 3 minutes, we're going to do it, it's a 7.3, so we're going to do it in a 6.3 M26 with the uh, M82 shot, which is an explosive shot, 173 millimeters of pen max at 300 meters, so it's really about 150 millimeters. Head on with, like any heavy tank, there's not much you can do. There's a little spot up there unlikely to hit on the uh, hatch, and then a sloped armor here everywhere, not likely. There's the weld line, which I've seen be successful uh, on me. I've never been able to do it on anybody else, but you can do it on that weld line then below the turret this is the spot so below the turret there's a hatch or if you can hit the bottom of the mantlet or of course the barrel take out the barrel that gives you time but the bottom of the mantlet here it'll trap shot right down into the top of the hole so if you hit below that curve and between here and here between the ashtrays and the thimbles movie quote uh, this spot right here on that angled piece toward the top you got a chance there that's a tough hit uh, so there's not actually a tremendous amount you got the weld line again from this quartering shot um, but you can get into uh, between the tracks you can get in there a bit take out the engine stuff like that this thing has a super slow turret now if you get around the side uh, the periscope gives you a shot you can also take out the breach uh, but typically you have a way to get into the side of the turret or the side of the hole there's not a lot going on on this there's a few areas on the upper part of this fairing I guess I'll call it uh, where you can get in but it's unlikely the most likely place is below the upper track uh, and you can get right through there every single time so if you end up side on with one of these guys and you can see that upper track shoot right below it and it even works look at the angles that still works from well that one didn't take but um it still works from lots of angles now if you end up on a rear quarter there's an area right there where you'll have a flat face towards you and if you can get right on that flat face you can shoot uh into it now the rear hole is wide open then you have the t here straight up and down from there and across the top there's a T in the back of this turret that if you can get around behind him after you disable him you can take out this whole T area the other way you can do that is if you are behind him you can take out that engine or transmission straight from the back uh, which you can get from almost any angle now if you end up back here again you still have this side shot through uh, below the top track and then above the bottom of the hole so basically right below that uh, top track is going to be your shot there from the front aim for the bottom of that mantlet look for the trap shot from the sides below the top track from the back you got the T and you got the bottom part of that turret right on those quartering edges where you can get in there as well as the entire back of the hole where you can disable it and take advantage of that slow turret so that's it three minutes or so how to destroy an IS-3 good luck have fun. See you in the next one.